Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. Five projects a week for five weeks, 25 of them coming out to you. And this is today's project, hashtag Elfie. How adorable is this stamp set? I just love it. So, as you know, we have million sales achievers throughout the world, not yet in the UK, um, but the very first Canadian uh, million sales achiever is Karen Duke, and this was her stamp set. Now she hit her million in October 2017, so a couple of years ago, so it takes a while to, um, I think it was, it was beginning of January, uh, beginning of 2018, she went out to have her million sales party, and that's when she got together with the designers and came up with this stamp set. So, I love it, isn't it gorgeous? It's just so adorable. Now, if you loved Signs of Santa um, from last year, you are going to love this. I just think it is so cute. I just, oh, it's adorable. So this is the one I did before. So I just took a piece of cardstock, uh, cut it in half, folded it in half, and then I've done a layer of basic black and a layer of whisper white. I'm going with, I'm gonna say that's Call Me Clover, but it, it might be Shaded Spruce. No, it is Call Me Clover. I'm just checking my blends. So I did blends with this one. And I'm now thinking, maybe I'm going to do this one, not that one. I don't know. Oh, decisions, decisions. Why not? So it's a red rubber set. So this is one where your stamparatus would be um, ideal. But you know me. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's take a punt and go straight onto the piece of cardstock. So, yeah. Piece of cardstock cut in half, scored in half. My basic black is half a centimetre shorter and narrower. And my piece of whisper white is half a centimetre shorter and narrower as well. If you work in Imperial, I'd suggest that you probably go with a quarter of an inch shorter and narrower. So what I'm going to do is I'm using my block and my grid paper. And Sorrel agrees. She's outside the door. And I've, I've lined up the bottom on there. Uh, where's my memento gone? Oh, it's here. So I've got my memento ink. Now this is my first stamping with this one. So I'm just gonna stamp it over here. Stamp the newness off, is what my husband says I do. So if you stamp the newness off it, and there you go, all well covered. And I'm lining up my Whisper White cardstock on the grid paper again, and the block and everything. Yes. Oh, I'm a happy girl. Right, so I want that to dry a little bit before I come in with my blend. So I'm, what I've got is I've got a scrap of white and a scrap of black. And how I work out what size I want, I actually, I, well, I either line it up on my grid paper and go, well, it's X number of centimetres or inches or what have you. But as it happens, I know that this is going to be a really good piece. Um, so again, I'm going to line up. It says, may your Christmas be merry and full of delight with a new year that's happy and healthy and bright. I love it. Karen, I need to know if you came up with that yourself. So, okay. Oh, that was upside down. Not a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my trimmer. And I'm going to cut this off at three and a half centimetres. So this piece is three and a half by six. So I want this to be four by seven. No, four by six and a half. So this gives me the same half centimetre border around it as the actual card itself. Giving that plenty of drying time. Can you tell? So, all right, let me zoom in. So what I've got here is I've got a handful of blends. I pulled out um, Poppy Parade, Dark and Light, Call Me Clover, Dark and Light, and Daffodil Delight, Dark and Light. So I'm going to do, I don't, know, I don't know whether to do, I don't know. I don't know. I think I might go red on this one. I might have a red hat. 
So I'm coming in with the light first. Yeah, my neighbour's having a food delivery. <laughs> and the truck is right outside my window. Well, it's nice to know that a car do deliver here. Didn't know they did. Right. I'm coming, mate! <laughs> well, I was just shouted up the stairs, dinner. <laughs> and Oliver would like to keep him to wait. Oh, look, oh, I just smudged that when I was giggling. Oh. Must not giggle while filming and using blends. Okay, <laughs> let's blend that out a little bit and I'll, I'll fix it or do something. I might have to go in with a different colour. Do you know what? I will. I'll go in with green with a dark call me clover. You'd never know. You can have green fur, can't he? Why not? Green stripe there and there. Do a little bit more blending on this one. And oh, yellow feet, yellow shoes. Okay, so yellow on there, yellow on there. You can kind of come in with any colour you fancy. You don't have to stick to one colour or another. I'm going to come in with pale. Call me Clover here on the parcel. It's almost kind of mint macaron. Oh, I wonder what that would look like with blended with these. Oh, I bet that looked look brilliant. Um, wrong end, we'll go with pale. Poppy Parade on the bow. I'm using these almost like um, colouring pens, but I think I've used this so much I've made the tip flare of it. Um, pale. Don't know what colour to do my bauble now. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Playing, can you tell? I am just having a bit of fun. There we go, and then a bit of yellow up there. And then finally, because I usefully forgot, I'm going to grab my ivory for little Elfie's face. Just to finish off in there, and that I think is really quite cute actually. Isn't that sweet? Right, let's fingers crossed I can zoom out. My camera so hates being zoomed in and out mid filming. Right, <laughs> so I'm going to get this on here. I'm going to layer that onto my corny clover. Stamped panel here. Pop that up there. And then you might not have noticed them towards the back of the catalogue. We've got some rhinestones, and they're called Holiday Basic Rhinestones. And I don't remember the, the colours 
the exact colours. I'm pretty sure that's cherry cobbler. I know that's mint macaron, although I used it with um no, sorry, it's it I don't know, whichever colour it <laughs> it's going to cabana now I don't remember but I'm going to use this green and I don't mind whether it's the perfect green or not I just think it's lush and you just need a little accent sometimes and I think those are adorable hashtag Elfie too too cute look at that no peeking Santa's workshop just for you a holiday hello Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this set. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.